Well, hello everybody. Tonight I want to show you how to image with the moon out. Yes, the moon out. Am I going nuts? I don't know. But to describe what, or discuss why I want to do this, we have to imagine for a second. Okay, we're imagining. So imagine, if you will, you're going to take this uh, once-in-a-lifetime trip to, let's say, Costa Rica for your wife's 50th birthday party, and they have clear skies and everything's going to be really cool and pristine and it's nice and warm, and I'm going to be seeing objects that I normally would never see because we're, we're pretty close to the equator, and you say, geez, I want to buy a good uh, camera lens where I can take some telephoto shots. So you get a nice camera lens like this. It's a 200 millimeter Canon f2.8, uh, really good for astrophotography and for doing regular uh, imaging. Well, with this lens, if you want to do astrophotography, you want to have a tracking mount and you don't want to bring your big uh, telescope mount because you're, you're going to be traveling on an airplane. So you get one of these things. This is the Ioptron Skygotter Pro, and it can go on a regular tripod, and I already used it, and it works great. It tracks, and you can do up to four minute uh, exposures with this thing. So you're all set. You're going, this is great. And all of a sudden, you look when you're supposed to go, and you discover it's a full moon. No! Okay, well, my little melodramatic no, whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do is do an, a test run, and I'm going to use this SkyGuider Pro, my camera lens, attached to my trusty rusty modeled or modified Canon T3i, but I'm also going to use the astronomic UHC filter, the clip-in filter, which hopefully will filter out some of the moon anyways, some of the moon glow. It's not going to do it really good but maybe I can get a decent shot I think there's the, the chicken nebula uh, that might be available and Ada Kearney and I will be able to see the Southern Cross so the Southern Cross I wouldn't need a filter even if the moon is out I won't get a great image but at least I'll get something so I'm gonna attempt to do a some testing with this equipment uh, and if I and if it looks promising I'll bring it all with us and hopefully I'll get Get a get a shot of some stuff I normally wouldn't see. So, anyways, thank you. I'll show you the test later. Well, hello everybody. I'm back. Let me show you the results of my little test of imaging with the moon out. So here's Cirrus. This is a eight second shot, sixteen hundred ISO, raw image. And here is after I did a little bit of manipulation on it. Looks a little bit better. Cleared up the, cleared up the uh, background a bit. Here's Rosette. This was a raw frame. And here's Rosette after I did some manipulation on it. And that looks a lot better. Here is the Orion head uh, and the horse head. And the Orion and the horse head. And here is after I did some manipulation on it. Okay. Let me scroll in because, you know, th th this thing actually came out a bit better than I thought it would so that, that looks pretty good I think anyways all right here's the head of Orion I uh, not the Orion was well, the horse head and here after I did some manipulation and that one's you know that one's kind of noisy but these are 30 second images so I wasn't really expecting much actually I'm quite impressed with how it came out it came out better than I was anticipating so I think by doing this uh, it is promising that is shooting with a moon full, or at least 87%, I, I might be able to pick up something, uh, assuming it's clear out, outside. So anyways, that's about all I have. Well, let me just show you these things. This is a, a combined, I, I put all the images combined in Photoshop. And here's the ones that was after I did the manipulation on it. So anyways, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you later.